During last Thursday's dev stream, TCM confirmed that the first initial update was going to be dropping next Tuesday, November 28th for DLC. And we finally get to take a look at the full trailer, not just the 18 second snippet we got originally that teased what was coming for their first DLC drop. But before we break all that down, welcome back to Edits and Ghost Beaters. If you're new to the channel, I am Old Head Gaming. Of course, if you want to stay up to date on the latest horror game information, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell for all horror game related news. And of course, I'm going to show you the trailer right now, the full minute and a half version. Sorry to bother you, ma'am, but have you seen this girl by chance? She went missing around here. Name's Maria. Why don't you come on inside and have a seat? Let me uh, get a better look. You sure? I, I don't want to intrude. Oh, nonsense. I wouldn't hear of it. Come on in, sweetie. Oh, now would you look at that? Ain't she a pretty little thing? Is this your sister? Girlfriend, and I'm getting pretty worried about her. That's just horrible. You want some of this here tea, honey? It's fresh. No, thank you, ma'am. I'm in a bit of a hurry, if you don't mind. Oh. Well, you know what? I think I do recognize her. Yeah. She come around here sticking her pretty little nose where it don't belong. You ain't never gonna find her. And they ain't never gonna find you. And let's break down what we saw. Obviously, we got a much deeper look at Danny, including his lore of being can romantically connected to Maria Flores, which I did not see coming, but here we have it. It's confirmed that he is her boyfriend on the hunt looking for her. Obviously, that wasn't enough to be part of the initial group, but here we are. And of course, Black Nancy's trying to hide the whereabouts, which I believe, as we kind of alluded to, is she's kind of buried in her backyard. And we get to see both the new victim and the new family member a little more in depth as we get to view Nancy and of course Danny. And we finally get to see a much deeper look at the new map, which was originally called the Junkyard, but was confirmed last Thursday to be called Nancy's House. And who knows how lopsided this is going to be, but they did confirm that there is going to be some unique stuff to it. I can't wait to see how that actually plays out next Tuesday. And for the first time in a while, I'm feeling a little bit of excitement when it comes towards Texas Chainsaw. Now, I like the fact that they're lore building. I love the fact that they're going to make sure that everyone gets the maps because that is one of the most important things for any kind of multiplayer game is that you don't isolate members of your playgroup. Even if people just want to log on once a month and play, they should be able to play with their friends with no kind of separation just because they didn't want to buy the DLC. Now, if you aren't aware, the DLC is separated into multiple pieces. The map is completely free to everyone. Danny and Nancy are each $9.99. And if there's any skins that are going to drop, I know they said there's some dropping before the end of the year. They haven't really confirmed if they're going to be dropping anything with this update or not. Those will be a little bit different, but Nancy is $9.99. Danny is is also $9.99 and then any kind of skin packs maybe we'll finally see the shirtless Johnny skin this on Tuesday who knows but this is gonna be the biggest update to Texas Chainsaw since it dropped three months ago and is a much needed drop of DLC content I want to know though what you think in the comments below as always thank you for watching and later mates